Welcome everyone to this video where we're going to learn Rapid Count, the automated takeoff tool in Quantify. Once you've opened your drawing, you can select the quick item pad for what you want to take off. I'm going to take off these plugs on this drawing, and I'll zoom in around one of them right now. Now I'll go to the quick item pad, select my plug, and set the attributes. Instead of drawing a box around the plug and taking it off as normal, I'm going to select this yellow robot icon, and when I do, it will go green. Now I will draw around this plug, and it doesn't matter how big I draw it, because I can click on it and adjust the size so there's not too much overlap around it. You want just a little bit of overlap, but not too much. Once I've done this and I'm happy with the area I've selected, I can click the commit button. Over on the left hand side, we can see that the drawing has been sent to the server and is processing it now. While this is processing, you can continue to do other takeoffs. You can run more rapid counts. If I want to say, grab this junction box, Oops, I can do this clicking the yellow rapid count icon again and drawing around this junction box, then clicking commit. Once this is done, we will see a green refresh button over on the left hand side. Now that this is done, we can click the button, which will reload the drawing, and this will show us all the plugs that it has taken off. We can see down in the audit trail, it has found four junction boxes and 116 plugs. Now these plugs have all been brought in as assemblies. So they include all of the items that are included in those assemblies. And it also includes all the attributes that we set when taking this off. If you notice on this drawing, there are some plugs it found that are actually GFI plugs. And we can fix this. Let's say we want to take off a different plug. And instead of the plug, I'm going to select this text here. And replace overlapping counts is selected. And what this will do is when it detects this WPGFI and that area overlaps with what it's already found for the plug, it will replace this. So let's click commit and let's run that. Now that that's done, we can refresh this page again. And we can see that it has replaced the plug that was taken off before with the takeoff of the GFI. We can also see this if we pan over that has happened in other places. And the number of plugs that have been taken off has been reduced. Let's head over to a lighting drawing now. Taking off lighting is the same process. So I'm going to select my quick item pad here. And the one thing I want to look for with these lights, because it does have these wire lines drawn in between, is the least amount of extra lines aside from the symbol you're trying to collect. So the symbol we're trying to collect is this box here with the cross in the middle. That's the light icon. I don't want these lines as much as possible. So I'm going to select my light select the attributes for this light, select my rapid count, and I'm going to choose this light over here because it has the least amount of extra lines around it. We can see these other lights have multiple lines, and this one only has one. And the gray lines in the background, the AI automatically filters out, so you don't need to worry about that at all. So when I hit commit on this, that will find our FR1s. While that's running, let's go and find our FS2s. Click rapid count, and we will select this. We can keep going and select let's say the FS ones. Again, it's the same process. And here I'm going to be careful not to include the one that's in the text here with what I select. I'll hit commit and send that off as well. 
So you can keep sending as many rapid counts as you'd like. And once it's done, we'll take a look and see how good it did. There it's done. So here we can see it's done a pretty good job of finding all the lights. It's found 54 of the FR1s. And we can see down here, there's a few that it's missed. The AI isn't perfect. It's not meant to be perfect or to replace the task of, you know, looking at a drawing and actually doing the takeoff. It's meant to augment that and save you a lot of time. So instead of selecting around 54 times for the FR1s and 33 times for the FS2s and 11 times for the FS1s, we've done three quick rapid count takeoffs and it's found the majority of items. And for anything it's missed, I can simply select one of the items, copy it, and then paste that around, right click to commit, and add those in. I can do the same here for the FS1 and add that in. And it's pretty quick to go around the drawing and just see anything that it may have missed. Like I said, the AI is not perfect right now. It's pretty good and it's going to get better the more it's used. So the more it's used by everyone, the better it's going to work. Now, as you go around this drawing, we can see that within a couple minutes, I've got the majority of my lighting takeoff done. This is the point of rapid count. It's to speed up the process for you. Everything taken off here, of course, when I go to the summary screen is all going to be collected as per normal. So this is the same as doing a manual takeoff. We're just letting the server do the, some work for us. One final thing, I will go back to the takeoff screen and show you if for whatever reason I want to remove some of these, I can do that either by clicking and selecting the delete key or by clicking it and clicking delete up in the top right. That's all for this video. And there's so much more to quantify and so many more videos that you can watch. This video was just to go over how to use the rapid count feature. I hope you look at our other instructional videos. And if you have any questions or would like any more information, please feel free to reach out to us at info at patabid.com.